Hey, it's Tim Brown, and this is another video. We're going to be talking about coding, and we're going to be talking about, this time we're talking about how to take a design from whether it's a PSD, a Photoshop file, or an Illustrator, uh, an Illustrator file in particular this time, but we're going to be talking about how to break that down and get it into code. Um, so if you've been watching a little bit of both series, we've got the visual design, series I'm going to show you that if you haven't been watching that you've been watching the code one this is where it starts the meet up this is where they start to come together so let's go ahead and get started our existing code that we have is is looks like this but what we've been working on in our illustrator centric visual design looks like this so in in the case of trying to make this piece into code how do we get started? Well, back in the day, they used to use splicing. They would splice this whole thing up, and there's a little less dynamic stuff back in the day on websites. A lot of times, for especially just simple marketing sites, they just have uh, a bunch of stuff spliced up, some text, but a lot of images. They put text in images and so on and so forth when they put it in the, onto the website. And for us, that's a bad idea because we want this text to be crawlable by search engines and we want the ability, um, you know, this is a little, this is a couple steps down the road, but we want people to be able to edit that text and that text to be um, dynamic. So in this case, let's get started. We actually just, what we're going to do in this case, we're going to take this these images over here, I'm essentially gonna create another, or I'm gonna grab them, right? I'm gonna order them, make sure they're uh, aligned, and then I'm going to file documents, set up, edit artboards, and I'm gonna make another artboard right here to, to cover this image. So I wanna get this whole thing with the overlays into my site. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save, Let's transform our existing site that we have been creating in code into this one that we've been creating in visual design. So I'm gonna say, we're gonna call it the social BG, the social background. Social BG already exists. Uh, yeah, run, run through this once to get prepared. So we've got that social BG and we've got this design, right? We're, we're talking about DJs before now we're gonna switch it over to this new thing that we're doing the mock-up that we had so I'm gonna find social BG that I just saved it was in documents or something I'm gonna put it into our image file and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna instead of linking to image DJ in the mix I'm gonna go ahead and put social dash BG dot PNG in here that's the file and that's where it is and we're gonna go command s and what do we got oh look it's that background that we had in our other visual design so that's one big piece we're cutting out images and we're adding them to the styles that we've created or we're creating them with this in mind we're not just splicing stuff and throwing text in with images right um, we got these sections on our homepage right here. We kind of created something like this, but in our visual design, we've got these icons. So what I'm going to say is we're going to we're going to pull these out one by one and save them. So we want these icons in a way we can use them in our site. So I'm going to essentially do it with a way that it can still be 100 percent of the width I'm gonna say file document setup or actually excuse me file um, export save for web and I'm gonna say first icon first dash icon go and then I just need to swap this out boom 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 swap this one in kind of center it export save for web Save. Oops, in the wrong. I'm gonna 
going to select it again. Export, save for web. Second icon, .png. And we're almost done with this one. Um, this little piece of this. We're gonna make sure that one's centered within the box. We're gonna say export, save for web. This is Illustrator, but similar things kind of apply for Photoshop. You just wanna isolate the item and save it. We're gonna go third icon. And in this case, we're saving it as PNG so that there's transparency in the background. Just in case we wanna use it in any other way than we're currently using it now that allows it to you know, go over a different color background and show through with transparency. So we need to find that first icon, second icon, third icon, and put those into our image folder. And thus we can now link to them in this piece. So what do we need to do? We need to go slash image slash first icon. Let's just see how this turns out, a PNG. And if it doesn't, well, we, I think we actually need to remove that slash at the beginning. Here we go. Command S, the way the structure is. And then so now we've got this icon here instead of the other thing. So where are we at on this? If we look at this, bring it back to how it was here so we can see. I'm gonna Command Z our way back. And you can see it kind of, it's centered there. So what's different? Inspect, and use inspect element a lot if you haven't noticed. We've got max width of 100%, but we need to center it. Margin zero auto and display block, right? And I'm gonna grab that and we're gonna put that in our styles of under interior box. So interior box. We're gonna say we want the margin zero auto, auto to center and then margin, let's see, margin zero auto, auto to center and display block. Those together make that center. So command S, good to go. Let's make sure the style shows up. Look at it, it's beautiful, it's incredible, I'm loving it. And then we go and we need to put the second and third one in here too, right? So hopefully by now you're seeing a little bit of how to break the design down from either Illustrator or Photoshop and break it out into pieces. Now, I don't wanna use images for everything. So we've got this icon started, these icons started here. I don't wanna use images for the shadow. We did that in, in uh, CSS. So when you look at this, you'll, you'll get a rhythm for things that you can do in CSS and things that you can do in your, um, in, in, with images. So it's kind of important to kind of know this, these types of attributes we do with that, this, you know, so on and so forth. If you want a background of a text color, we're breaking it down by looking at, we, we select that box, you're not a text color, a background color. Select that box, we select fill, and we look at what is the hexadecimal value for that background. I'm gonna command copy that, and then I'm gonna use it for this section. So we have to figure out what section this is that we created earlier. What is the class on this? Um, we're calling it section, second section. But I think we need a, because if we put the background on this, I think it's gonna be within that. So we need to, we need another outer container. So we're gonna put one more on there to make sure. Div class outer container. And we need to put the closing tag and we need to tab this whole section out. And we need to command S that index.html. And here we need to say outer container. 
and we're gonna say background of EF, EF, EF. Like we just copied and pasted from our visual design. So backgrounds are one thing where you can, it's just a, an image, we can grab it. Um, or excuse me, and if it's a color, we can just figure out what the hex value is. So it looks like we need to change over a couple of things on this section. The three columns, I don't want white anymore. Let's say none. So we're gonna get rid of the white background on three columns, totally, right? And I'm gonna put that on interior box instead so that those boxes are white, but not the background of, of this. There you go. So now we've got the basic idea for this. The key is that you can incorporate images by cutting them out and essentially um, removing the other elements and saving them for web, um, grabbing the hexadecimal for background images, the, the uh, figuring out what the font is and making sure that you have a web version for that font. And then there's other little things like <clears throat> creating uh, or having a font like Font Awesome where you can use the icon and the design. It's really gonna depend a lot on the elements within your design, but those are some keys to transferring it from the visual design stage into the code stage. And I think those are enough to get you started. Um, we're making progress here. Um, the other thing is, one last thing that I would say is you've got, in this particular situation, we've got columns. So we've got two thirds and one third within the design. And it's important to kind of recognize that some of this has to be done manually. So you're essentially going to have to create the styles for one third and two third. So 33% and 66% um, columns in your design. Um, or you can use something like Bootstrap to kind of lay the base foundation and use their pre-made classes to create those columns, um, which is a wonderful tool and I use it basically on every project. So if you find something like Bootstrap where you can use their kind of pre-made grid, um, I highly suggest that. Uh, it's important to note, like even if I use these tools, things like Bootstrap and things like that, it's really good to note how to do it yourself, how you create those initial columns, how you create containers and things like that so that you can work within it efficiently. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.